for our first phonics lessons today, boys and girls. We're going to open our um, booklet to page 107, right at the top, right there. And um, you're going to uh, write your name at the top, and I'm going to go ahead and do that right here. Um, I'm going to write, well, today I'll write Spotty Cat. Remember, on, on this is a long line, so it's a really good line for you to practice writing your first and your last name, okay? It's always good to practice writing your last name, too. So there's Spotty Cat. And when you write your last name, of course, it starts with a capital letter um, because that's what happens with names. Okay, we're, gonna, we're going to start with the box first. And in this box, you want to find your vowels and we're going to code them with the long vowel sound. So here we have A, long A, acorn A, equal E, overall O, overall O, acorn A, unicorn U, not a vowel, unicorn U. Oh, we missed one up there. I did anyways. Icicle I, icicle I, and that's it. Okay, so you can go back, circle to count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. So in that box, there are nine, um, nine vowels, nine long vowel sounds. All right, so as we, we work our way down the page then, we're going to be able to look, we're going to be able to sound out and read long vowels and complete long vowel sounds, write the words and complete these sentences. So the first one is s, o, so, w, e, we, g, o, go, n, E, me. Okay, so we have to figure out how we're going to um, complete the blanks in these sentences. There's a word missing. And so we're going to use our reading brains, our, our phonics brains and reading brains to help this happen. So I'm going to help you read here. Number one, can blank fix the rip on the flag? So can so fix the rip doesn't make sense. Can we fix the rip? That makes sense, but let's just double check. Can go fix the rip? Mm, doesn't work. Can me fix the rip? That's not proper grammar. We usually don't say can me. Um, we'd ask that question in a different way, like can I fix the rip? Um, so the one that's going to work for us is we. So I'm going to circle that to know that I've used it, and I'm just going to write it here, lowercase w, lowercase e. Can we fix the rip on the flag? Number two. The cat sat on, and we only have three words left to choose from. The cat sat on so, doesn't make sense. The cat sat on go, well, I guess if it was a stoplight and it was green, but it'd be kind of hard to sit on it, you'd probably slide, slide off, so you can't. That doesn't really make sense. The cat sat on me. That makes the most sense there for that sentence. So we're going to write the word me here. Mm e. The cat sat on me. Number three. The grass is mm wet. So we need the word for there. The grass is so wet. Oh, that makes sense compared to the grass is go wet. Doesn't make sense, so we're gonna circle the word so, and we're gonna write it right there. The grass, the grass is so wet, period. All right, now the next one, um, we're gonna start on number four. Can we go, that's the only word, left uncircled, so we're gonna circle it and write it here, lowercase g. Oh, can we go swim in the pond? And that is an asking sentence. Look at the end. There's a question mark there. We had two of those. Can we rip? Can we fix the rip on the flag? We had two asking sentences where we, we don't know the answers. Can we fix the rip on the flag? Maybe yes, maybe no. 
If you have a needle and thread, perhaps. Can we go swim in the pond? Perhaps. Maybe yes, maybe no. So we're gonna switch to the back and you're just gonna echo and read the sight words with me today. Okay, here we go. My, echo my, M-Y, my. He, echo he, H-E, he. B, echo B, B-E, B. We, echo we, W-E, we. What, echo what, W-H-A-T, what. And you're gonna go ahead and circle what for me, please. And that's it for this lesson. Remember to go back to the front side where your name is, and please give yourself an exit ticket at the top.